I don't know if you guys can hear that very well. Mmm, it smells good. All right guys, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. We're actually gonna be out on the bike. So this is a little bit different kind of video than what I normally do. Today we're gonna be talking about five things that I love about my vintage motorcycle. So yeah, let's get on the bike. First kick, let's go. All right, we're off. Tried to film this earlier. Uh, as you can see, the it's later in the day. I recorded the whole thing and then got into the editor and realized that none of it was going to work. But that's okay. Uh, so yeah, we're talking about five things I love about my vintage motorcycle. A lot of things I like about this bike, but just for reference, this is a 1968 Triumph T100C. So it's uh, got one clock, one carburetor, very simple bike. I mean, they were all pretty simple then, but this bike's really simple. This is like the simple version of a simple bike. And then it's supposed to have like, uh, it's supposed to have high pipes, but it doesn't. So yeah, first thing I love about this bike, and I'm gonna try to kind of rank them in order from least favorite to most favorite. One of my favorite things about this bike, or one of the things I love about this bike, is just the fact that you get a lot of attention. Now that can get annoying sometimes. I like it the most when I'm just riding and people see it and they're like, oh, sweet. Uh, but when I'm like stopped, sometimes it's like, okay, I don't really want to sit with you for like, you know, 20 minutes right now and talk about my bike. But sometimes it's really cool because, you know, you talk to people who don't even know like that much about motorcycles and they're just like, oh, what is that? Uh, so yeah, that's like, you know, it's a fun thing. It's a bike that people notice. It's a bike that people find really cool. And I like that, and you know, that's kind of why I got it, honestly. I mean, that's why anybody gets a motorcycle. You're just doing it because you're, you know, you got a complex and you just want to make people think you're cool. Uh, number four is just like the simplicity of the bike. It's uh, super, super simple, which means that you can work on it. Anybody can work on this bike. You know, I have really no mechanical background and I've done a fair amount of stuff to this. And uh, that's one of the things I love about it. It's super simple, you know, you can, do a valve check with ease. Uh, you can mess with the carburetor, it's not hard. And there's a manual that tells you how to do literally everything with like illustrations and it's uh, it's not like a new bike that has, oh, see it's not wanting to shift into fourth. So I guess we'll just stay in third. That's the bike's way of saying, hey, just like literally stay in third, bro. So yeah, it's super simple. There's just not a lot to it. And there's really no project besides like rebuilding the engine that like, you know, somebody like me couldn't do. Even a lot of the complex stuff is uh, very manageable. I love that. I love how simple it is. It's just sort of like bare bones motorcycling at its finest, you know? So the third thing is the, the power delivery. This is a perfect example. I'm in fourth gear right now, really low RPMs. And it just has power available. Unlike a lot of new bikes, you know, like it's, it's pretty fast, honestly. I mean, it's, it's not near as fast as a lot of modern bikes, but it's fast enough. This fourth gear goes from like, you can go 20 miles an hour in fourth gear, or you can go hundred miles an hour in 20, uh, in fourth gear. And I love that. But you know, the first and second gear don't really have a lot of power. Third gear has a little bit of power, but fourth gear, like just power from everywhere. So. I love that. I love that it's got a lot of like usable power. This person's stressing me out. Okay. Uh, a lot of usable power and a lot of modern bikes don't make their power until like five or 6,000 RPMs, which honestly really sucks. I don't like that. I think it's uh, kind of annoying, but this, this bike just makes power from everywhere. And it's pretty awesome. Super usable and all the old bikes, like all the bikes from the 60s are just super usable. You know, you can ride them. You can ride them all over. They're made for riding in town and stuff. A lot of modern bikes, even modern street bikes, they're really not like geared or, you know, the power band isn't set up for riding in town. All right, so number four, I guess you could call it number two, whatever. The fourth thing, and I'm actually gonna pull over for this one. Let me see if I can find a good spot to pull over before it gets dark, because it is kind of getting dark, honestly. Oh, this is a good spot. Let's go right here. So one of the things I love about this, honestly, this would maybe be number one, but it's getting dark, so I'm gonna put it at number, uh, number two or four or whatever, 
is the looks. Bikes just don't look like this anymore. And I think it's awesome looking. It's sort of like the quintessential motorcycle. Like it's just super simple. Like if you were to draw a motorcycle, like a kid draws a motorcycle, that's pretty much what it would look like. You know, it's like a seat, a tank, and the lines on it, I feel like are just so beautiful. Uh, one way I've heard people put it is you can tell it wasn't designed on a computer, you know? You could tell it was hand drawn, lots of curves. And yeah, this is, I mean, it's arguably my favorite thing about this bike. Okay, so the first thing then, or the last thing, whatever you want to say, is the sound. And I'm actually going to stay right here for a second to show you. I don't know if you guys can hear that very well. Mmm, it smells good. And we'll actually go ride it for this. And I might even play a little clip for you guys. Yeah, the bike sounds amazing. I love how it sounds. I think that's... It's like between sound and looks for me for like the two most important things. Let's see if we can do a little off-roading here and go around this speed bump. Whoa, hello. That would've been really bad if I had just like wiped out. But yeah, the sound. Again, for various reasons, modern bikes can't, they literally can't sound like this. You know, you can't like unleash the engine the way that you can on these old bikes because of all of the emission stuff, which is totally understandable. But even like the modern Triumphs, like the modern classics, uh, they're like a 270 degree firing order, I believe. And this is 180, which is what really gives it that almost like Harley sound, that putt-putt sound that's super unique. I don't know why they don't do 180 degree firing order anymore. Maybe it's uh, just not like an efficient firing order it could be i don't know uh but modern the, yeah, the modern triumphs just i don't know they just don't sound quite as rumbly maybe if they didn't have all the exhaust stuff they would sound just as good but they just they kind of sound like sewing machines to me whereas this bike this bike sounds way meatier and beefier than it actually is like you're not even going very fast and this thing sounds like it's absolutely hauling which I love, I think that's awesome. Also, if my mouth or like my voice sounds kind of weird, it's because I'm eating this microphone. I am literally eating it. I hate it so much. <laughs> Once our channel gets monetized, then we will buy a better <laughs> helmet microphone setup, like a whole helmet dedicated to this because there's got to be something better than this. I'm eating the like dead cat or whatever it's called. Yeah, I think looks are probably number one actually. And then sound is number two for me. There's a lot of other things I like about this bike, uh, but yeah, we're gonna also make a video going over the five things I hate about this bike. And also, I'd like to make a video at some point just going over why I bought this bike in the first place and why I didn't buy a bunch of other bikes I was looking at and why I didn't buy a new bike. Uh, I may buy a new bike at some point still, but I really do love like old motorcycles. I think they're awesome. I think riding an old motorcycle anywhere is fun. You don't even have to be doing anything fun. This is fun to me. Just like putzing around is fun on an old motorcycle and because I have two little kids I don't really do a whole lot more than that honestly. Like I have no interest in going 100 miles an hour and uh, winding through twisties faster than I should be. But yeah leave a comment below. What do you guys think about like old bikes? What do you think about bikes like this? Have you ever ridden one? Uh, would you like to ride one? And uh, make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. We've got more more videos coming your way and yeah ride safe hope you guys are oh it's not shifting again there we go and yeah hope you guys are doing well staying safe and having fun we'll see you guys in the next one